Hello everyone and welcome to this demo. Please note that in the previous demo, I showed you the capabilities of ChatGPT. And what I wanna do right now is I would like to explore some additional tools such as Claude by Anthropic. We also have Google Gemini as well and also DeepSeek. So let's go ahead and maybe use the exact same prompt that we covered before, which is, well, I work at Bank of America and I would like to start implementing generative AI. Give me 10 ideas on how to leverage this incredible technology. So now if you go ahead and run it, basically AI or ChatGPT specifically is going to tell you or give you ideas. Here's gonna tell you AI powered virtual assistant, automated financial report generation, and so on. And of course you can talk to it if you'd like to get more information. What you could do here is if you go to Claude by Anthropic, this is simply the interface. And it's pretty much similar to before, you can just paste simply this prompt here. So you're going to say I work at Bank of America as well. And I would like to start implementing generative AI. So let's go and see what kind of response we're going to get. And here we go. It's going to tell you, I'll suggest some practical applications. And here we go. You will see customer service, virtual assistant, automated document processing, personalized financial advisory. And you will find that the answer is actually kind of a little bit similar to this, right? And the idea here is that these models have seen the entire internet. So they have been trained on, of course, the data is slightly different, but the idea is the same. It has been trained on the entire internet, all Wikipedia pages, all blog posts, all books that humanity has ever created and so on. And let's go ahead and maybe test Gemini. So if you go to Gemini by uh, Google, so again, this is Google's version of ChatGPT. You can go ahead here and select multiple models. There is one that is what we call a 2.0 flash, that is get um, everyday help. These are 1.5 flash, that's an older version. And there is also Gemini Advanced, if you'd like to upgrade and pay an extra fee to uh, get access to the latest and greatest model. So let's go ahead and test it out. So now you can say I work at Bank of America, I'd like to implement generative AI. And here we go. It's gonna tell you it's exciting. You're looking to bring generative artificial intelligence to Bank of America. Here are 10 ideas. Personalized financial advice and planning, enhanced customer service, content creation, fraud detection and prevention. Again, it's pretty, I would say, if you go back, it's pretty much the same, I would say, ideas, right? But of course, the text will be slightly different. What you could do too, is if you go ahead and open DeepSeek, which is the Chinese artificial intelligence model, you can go ahead, again, talk to it. So you can say, I work at a Bank of America, I would like to implement generative AI. And let's see. So now, basically what you notice is that it's going to, kind of what we call it chain of thought prompting, it's going to create kind of um, chain of thoughts. So I'm gonna say, okay, so I need to come up with 10 ideas for implementing generative AI. Let me start by thinking about the different areas where a bank operates. So think of it as kind of, you're open the brain and the brain is gonna show you how it's actually thinking. And this is, I would say, incredible. And you can go ahead and if you keep going and you can see kind of these ideas, right? It's gonna tell you document automation. There is a fraud detection, for example. There is marketing content creation, risk management, and so on. And of course, you can go ahead and talk to it as well and explore some of these. So please note that these are the, uh, the thoughts that it took around 15 seconds to perform. And if you scroll down, this is the output. Okay, this is the outcome basically that you see in here. And you will find that it's actually quite as well comparable to the uh, previous models that we ran as well. Okay, let's maybe test these models on, let's say, writing a Python script. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say, I would like to uh, write a Python script. So I'm gonna go back again with ChatGPT. I'm gonna say write a Python script to obtain real time stock prices for a list of companies and calculate the daily percent to change. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Please know that we covered this as well before. Here we go, it's gonna to explain to you, it's gonna tell you that you need Yahoo Finance API. And this is simply the Python script. You can go ahead, edit it, and you can copy it as well and so on. Okay, let's go ahead and test if Claude is able to do the same as well. I'm going to say write a Python script, same deal. And please note that here you can also play around and change the AI model too. So now if you go ahead and run it, okay, so now it's going to help kind of generate that Python script and you will find kind of the interface is slightly different, kind of opened a new window and it's showing you the code is being generated here on the right hand side. 
And of course, if you're happy with it, you can go ahead, copy it and use it in your uh, in your projects. Let's go ahead and test Gemini. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same deal as well. And let's see if Gemini is able to generate well written code similar to the previous AI models. And here we go. This is the artificial intelligence output specifically from Google. And um, it's also showing you as well here how to install these different libraries and so on. What you could do here, let's go ahead and check out with DeepSeek if you give it a try. Okay, so here right now it's thinking and okay, the user wants to generate a Python script for real time um, stock prices and calculate the daily percent to change. Let me think about how to approach this. And now it's going to generate kind of tasks for its own and kind of brainstorm ideas as well before, so it thinks before generating the output. And here we go. So this is simply the output right now. So this is the Python code. And please note that uh, DeepSeek is actually free. However, for the other models, you, have, you actually need to pay to upgrade, right? So if you want to go here, I have GPT 4.0 because I paid like $20 or so a month. With Claude, you, need to, you might need to upgrade as well. Here I did not upgrade. So this is kind of the free version. And with Gemini, this is also the free version. But of course, if you'd like to upgrade, you need Gemini Advanced. You need to click Upgrade. But with DeepSeek, it's actually free and it's uh, open access too. So you have access to the weights and the code that is used to train these models as well. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's all I have for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.